Come and face me, God of Thunder! Your challenges mean nothing to the gods, spirit. They do not listen. Do not mock my pursuit of vengeance. Though my family devoted their lives to worshipping Thor, I've devoted mine to his downfall. And I will start with that statue looming over my father's grave. Unlikely. You are dead. Is there something we can do? For a reward, of course. If you bring down the statue, you have my blessing to loot my father's grave. He rests on an island to the east. Why do you hate Thor so much? After my father passed, my mother built the statue to watch over his grave. Imagine our surprise when the God of Thunder himself came to offer condolences. At first we were thrilled, but he quickly took advantage of our hospitality. My mother begged him to leave, and Thor, in his drunken rage, killed her. I was left with nothing but grief. Eventually I lost that as well, and found only rage in its place. I... I'm so sorry. Come, boy. We have a statue to destroy. My father's grave lies on an island to the east. Do not mistake my mother's statue. That spirit. The one whose mom was killed by Thor? What about it? Would his story be a reminder? The lives of men mean nothing to the gods. I know, father. You know. But do you listen? Yes. <laughs> Good. I wonder if the World Serpent even knows part of his body's lying over here. How about one more story? Very well. There was a horse. The horse sought vengeance upon his enemy, a stag. But he could not kill the stag alone. The horse met a man. A hunter, and made a deal. He took the man's bit and bridle, and allowed him to ride in the saddle on his back. Together, they killed the stag, and the horse tasted victory. But the hunter would not release the horse, and made a slave of him. So getting revenge cost him his freedom. Hope it was worth it. It was not.